What's up guys and welcome back to Everything Gaming uh, and on today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete all of this week's Falls of Thun challenges in which you can win the BMW M4 Horizon Edition which is a very cool car again uh, and it's probably one of the easiest Falls of Thuns that has basically arisen in a very very long time so it will not take you long to do and it is very easy and quick. Uh, without further ado let's get stuck in. Uh, first challenge here wants you to get 3 stars on any drift zone to earn 95,000 XP. Next one wants you to complete 3 races in a BMW to win the BMW M4 Horizon Edition. Third one just wants you to complete 3 drift zones to earn 3 wheel spins. And the final one just wants you to get 10 air skills to receive 35,000 credits. Uh, so let's get stuck in the first one here, which only wants you to get 3 stars on any drift zone to earn 95,000 XP. So first of all, you're going to want to select a rear wheel drive car if you prefer. You can use all wheel drive. Uh, and one that you prefer drifting in. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys love drifting. Everyone does in game. Uh, then filter the map and just for drift zones and select which one you want to do. Now I always go for this one, the hillside drift zone at the top. You only need 80,000 points to get three stars. And bear in mind on this one, you do need three stars in order to complete the challenge. Uh, but it is very, but well, very easy and very simple. Uh, you pick whichever drift zone you want, of course, but like I said, pick a drift car that you feel comfortable using. Uh, it's preferably one that's not too overpowered or anything, unlike this one. Uh, it's probably not the best for me at this time. Um, you know, I'm not going to make any excuses, it was a pretty shit run, uh, but I just about got uh, three stars here. Uh, so yeah, very, very simple, very easy first challenge, will take you no more than 30 seconds. Um, unless you have to keep rewinding, which I don't blame you because I probably will anyway. Uh, the next one just wants you to complete three races in a BMW to win the BMW M4 Horizon Edition. So pick a BMW of your choice. Now it doesn't matter which one it is, and it doesn't matter if you win these races. All you have to do is finish them. Uh, in the end, I went for my i8, and I went back to the highway circuit here. And as I did with the last challenge, I'm just going to do this race three times. So obviously all you have to do is complete three races, you complete this one three times and there's the challenge and there's the BMW M4 Horizon Edition. It will take you no more than four or five minutes to complete, very very simple. Like I said, it doesn't matter where you finish, you don't have to be amazing, you don't have to come in first. All you have to do is complete three races and get your awards and get to the reward screen basically. Very very simple, very easy, one of the easiest Horizon cars to win. Uh, the next one wants you to complete three drift zones to earn three wheel spins. Now obviously you've already completed a drift zone for the first challenge so all you have to do is pick two more. You can do the same one twice, two more times basically, it's entirely down to yourself. Uh, but might be worth change, chopping and changing, you know, tearing it up a bit uh, and picking a different one. As you can see, I also picked a different drift car just because. Uh, so this drift zone, you only had to get 25,000 points for three stars. But bear in mind, you don't even need to get three stars. All you have to do is complete three of them. So just get a minimum of one star. Very easy, very lazy if you want to be. Just do a little bit of drifting and then drive through the rest of it to get three stars. Very quick and simple. Uh, the final challenge wants you to perform 10 air skills to receive 35,000 credits. So it's again, very, very easy. Uh, obviously an air skill, just a jump basically. Now I always come here just off the airport. Uh, into the sandy dunes area. Uh, I picked my Porsche purely because it's very quick, it's four wheel drive and it'll get the jumps done very quickly and very easily. This one won't take you more than a minute I'd say if you do it here. You will get a lot of air skills around here, there's so many mini jumps as well as the big jumps. Uh, so it's very simple, not hard at all. And there's a force of fun done in about 10 minutes basically, so it won't take you that long. Um, Obviously, with Forza Horizon 4 coming out, the Forza Thons look like there's a lot more to them. Obviously, we're going to get Forza Thon points uh, to spend in a Forza Thon shop, which will be very, very good. Uh, and it probably gives people more incentive to actually do these Forza Thons because all we're getting now is zero gamer score achievements, which are pretty much worthless. Uh, and some of the Horizon Edition cars we're earning, uh, all the cars in general, aren't really the best, let's be honest. Um, but anyway, I will continue to do these Falls of Thun videos. I will continue to try and help you guys out to the best of my ability. Like I said, if you have any questions about anything, whether it's Falls related or gaming related, please do ask and drop it in the comments. I'm always here to help you guys out. Uh, but anyway, a massive thank you for everyone's support. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more videos just like this. But thank you very much and good luck winning the BMW M4.